Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are looking back at my F1 truck and its uh, little flotation device. What I want to do today is I want to go ahead and delete most of the back piece right here, replace it with something else like a crane or maybe we'll do like a fuel storage thing and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Yes. Okay, so I guess the first thing that we should do is I should show you guys how this thing works. Let's go ahead and detach the trailer real quick. We'll go ahead and make this thing real big, like so. There we go. And we'll go ahead and push it onto our truck. Now, the reason I'm showing you guys this first is so that we can see how low in the water this thing actually floats. Because uh, if it floats really low in the water, then uh, we might struggle with adding a big fuel tank to the back of our truck. Um, if it's okay in the water, then we might be able to... Uh, add a crane or something like that as well, uh, we'll have to see. Uh, if we can't add any of those things, then what we might need to do is we might need to change the flotation device to be a little bit bigger uh, or a little bit wider or whatever. Uh, but for right now, what I'm going to show you guys is how, how high in the water it actually sits. So here we go. We should be driving. Nope. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do this. There we go. Beautiful. It's because the handbrake was on. Uh, that we didn't actually move. The indicators do automatically come on if we do turn too far to the right or too far to the left. So in case you guys are wondering why that was happening, that's the thing. Here we go. We can change the gears up. And uh, yeah, we can eventually go super fast into the water. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whee! There we go. We're in the water right now. And uh, that's fine. There we go. Beautiful. Now what you want to do when you're in the water is you want to change it to amphibious mode. And then you can slowly drive around, which is um, pretty good. But as you guys can see already, it is very low in the water straight away, which is a little bit of a pain in the butt if we're going to add anything else to the back. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to delete a bunch of these things. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. We're going to delete all this side. We're going to delete all this side. We're then going to go ahead and change it to this because that's much easier to use. And we're going to delete the whole siding right here all the way to the front. We're going to leave that bit right there. That's fine. We'll leave the battery in. We'll delete all of these things because we don't need the floor to be decorative at all. We'll delete this thing as well. And we'll go ahead and cover the floor in um, this. Yeah, there we go. We'll just cover the floor like this. That seems fine. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, so we are making a crane right now. Um, that's, the, that's the idea at least. So if we can slowly go ahead and build on this piece so that it looks a little bit nicer... We'll go, ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and try and keep it looking nice as we go along. Otherwise, we will have a few issues uh, if we continue. So there we go. We'll go ahead and do this. Spin it around. And that looks okay. That looks completely fine. Now, it's been a little while since I've actually built a crane. So we'll have to see how this goes. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make a pivot point in the middle first off. So we'll go ahead and do something like this. We then need a pivot. Here we go. A robotic pivot, please. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and shove that right in there. Uh, just like so. That's good. And um, we'll need to build a crane on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the whole plan is that we're going to go ahead and lift this up to the sky. Okay, so this is going to go quite high up. We're going to go ahead and delete this and this as well. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put another pivot point on the top of here. As well as a hinge, because I believe we need a hinge in order to actually do this properly. Uh, but you know what? Maybe we can just use these two. There we go. We can go ahead and just shove one of these in here. Like this. And that'll be our little pivot point up and down, maybe, possibly. Uh, seems like a good idea to me right now, but whether that is a good idea or not, I'm actually not sure. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try and make this look pretty, as I keep saying. So we'll do this. We'll go ahead and put an extra block right there. That seems fine. And yeah, that's okay. We need to go ahead and do this, all right? Because that's going to be what it controls. We're going to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger than it normally is. In fact, actually, like a single piece going forwards like that. I guess it's fine. I guess that's completely fine to do that. I do want it like one more up though. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's go ahead and raise it by one more. All right, delete that piece in the middle. Continue this piece up a little bit. Now this isn't the best looking crane. I wasn't sure how to do the crane, uh, how to do it properly at least. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have it resting on the on the, on the the back of this, on the top of this, because that seems like a good idea. Um, but yeah, again, so we'll go ahead and put this piece in. In fact, actually, why don't we just use a normal hinge? Here we go. We can just use one of these pieces. Yeah, that's probably stronger than, than the other pieces. So 
Yeah, we go ahead and put this right here in the middle, hopefully. Yep, go ahead and put that right there. Do this, just like so. And we go ahead and attach a bunch of these pieces to the back of here. One there, and one there. All right, that's good. And obviously, we need the piece to be um, with this, if that makes sense. So it's going to go like this. All right, cool. Um, and we're going to have one above it. There we go. And we're going to attach the two side pieces, just like this. There we go. And just like this, if we possibly can. That'd be great. There we go. Good. Yep. And now I'm just going to go ahead and put this piece on here. Just like so. That's good. And we're obviously going to uh, put these pieces down at the back end as well. Because uh, that's just something that we need to do. So we'll go ahead and put that right there. We'll put that right there. And uh, we'll build the rest of these things. In fact, we'll leave that hole right there. That seems fine. Um, we do need a winch on the end of this thing. So let's go ahead and get a winch. I do kind of want to use the electric thing though. Um, I don't want it to be like a really big winch. So we'll just use an electric cable thing. And we'll just shove it in the end. <laughs> I guess that seems fine by me. There we go. And it doesn't really matter which way up it is because it will just drop down anyway. So there we go. Something like that seems fine. In fact, actually, though, it should come out a lot further than this, shouldn't it? It should totally come out above this thing. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put that right there. And in fact, actually, what we will do as well is we'll drag this out like this. We'll put that piece right there. And we'll also cover this one up at this end, like here. Um, just like so. Yeah, that seems fine. We'll drag this one out a little bit. That's okay. All right, cool. Good. And that looks that looks fine. We'll leave that like that. Um, I do obviously want a magnet on there as well. So we'll go ahead and get a magnet real quick. Uh, if we can get one. Magnet, please. Thank you. There we go. Small mag. We'll go ahead and shove that right there. And that seems fine. There we go. So far, we've got a crane that can go up and down. And it can also twist. So that's really nice. Um, obviously, it can't be really big. Or chunky and especially like with a seat on here as well. Um, it would be a little bit too chunky But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a seat on here anyway uh, pilot seat Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put a pilot seat uh, Right here. Okay, we're gonna turn it around. and We're gonna leave it right there Okay, and that's gonna control the crane. All right It's gonna control every aspect of the crane because it needs to so that's good. That's really nice um, I do kind of want some lights pointing backwards, but that's okay for now We'll leave it as it is, and uh, I guess everything needs power and stuff like that. So I'm going to cl quickly connect it all together, and we'll see if we can get it working. Okay, so this is what we got at the minute. Um, we've got a crane. It works. Uh, it doesn't twist all the way around because we've actually attached it to the seat instead of anything else. Uh, but we're, what we can do is we can turn this. We can lift it up. We can turn it around all the way to the side. We can then winch down. I don't have a winch on at the minute, but we can do that. And uh, this is how far it goes down, which is fine. And it goes all the way up to there, which is uh, pretty high up, uh, which is pretty nice. Anyway, um, what we want to do now is we want to make it look a little bit prettier. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll get back to you in a second. All right. So basically all I've done is I've added a few more pipes. That's that's kind of all I'm going to do for right now. I do want to add work lights and stuff like that. So we will end up doing that. But for right now, let's go ahead and activate the trailer thing in my bobbies. We'll go ahead and grab this and attach it to there. All right. If we possibly can, that'd be great. You have to like look at the sky. Um, which isn't currently working. There we go. Beautiful. It's attached. The other side is attached now, so we just have to get inside and drive. Here we go. Go ahead and turn it on. Beautiful. Go ahead and rev it up, and let's go. There we go. We're moving. Nice. So we got our little crane on the back. Um, the magnet still doesn't work. Just saying. Uh, and it doesn't twist all the way around. But you know what? That is a okay. That is a okay. We're also missing a, a few lights. Um, which is fine too. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to make it as light as possible without adding so much stuff uh, But I still wanted it to work which is is exactly what we've done basically so that's pretty good Go ahead and detach this from here. Go ahead and open it up Yep, there we go. Beautiful push it forwards Make sure it attaches properly. That would be great uh, if it doesn't attach properly Then we might have a few issues go ahead and drag this this way There we go good and drag it on. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right, I do want to change it to daytime as well because at the minute it's uh it's getting dark. It's getting very dark. There we go, beautiful. Go ahead and push this forwards. As soon as it attaches, we can we can get on and we can go. All right, cool. I want to see if this is even lighter. It might be lighter than the um than the carriage, the passenger carriage was. I'll have to see though. All right, here we go. We're jumping in. We're jumping in the water. Here we go. Meow. <laughs> 
There we go. Let's just see how it sits for right now. And it seems to be sitting fine. We can sort of like squidge out here. We can sit in our little seat. And we can go like this. We can go like this. And yeah, I mean, it, it lists a tiny bit. But you know what? It totally works. It totally works. We can use this as like a barge crane. Which is crazy. That is insane. Nice. But obviously we do need to make sure that we can actually get back out of the water. So I wish I had a reset button for this. But you know what? We can probably put it in the right place anyway. Uh, go ahead and try and make it come up. Uh oh. We might have a little bit of an issue here. I don't know where that's gone. Oh, is that it on the front? That's it right there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Winch up is one. Which is happening. There we go. Beautiful. That's good. That's really good. So you can just climb around. You can jump back in the inside in the pilot seat. And we can get going. Alright, put that down to zero. Go ahead and turn on the amphibious mode. Uh, go ahead and turn on this as well. Go ahead and rev it up. Turn that off. And set this to three. There we go. We're moving. We're driving. We're doing it. Yeah, that's awesome. That is so cool. Now, I do wish that I could make the crane look a little bit better, which I will do. You know, I'll try, I'll try and make it look a little bit better than it does right now. Uh, but for right now, it's actually kind of cool that it does work. So, uh, that's nice. Anyway, the first thing that I want to do is I want to drive around this, uh, the runway. We'll go out to the other side and we'll see if we can get out of the water. Okay, so it's time to try and get out of the ocean. Here we go. Ram it up onto the beach. Yes. All right, go ahead and turn on the engine again because for some reason it's turned itself off. There we go. Ah, uh, come on. I don't even know if the wheels are turning. The wheels are not turning. Okay, turn amphibious mode off. No? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got an issue. Here we go. If we can drive on and the wheels are spinning, we should be able to drive out. Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on, it's a pretty steep hill, to be fair. Oh, we're falling back into the ocean. Uh, but yeah, it definitely works as an amphibious truck still, uh, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, I am going to leave this one here. We have built a crane uh, somewhat onto the back of our truck. And if you guys can think of anything else that we can add to the back of it, then let me know in the comments down below. Um, and yeah, I'll try and make this look a little bit better and maybe upload it to the workshop. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.